And everything is getting started right now. Here we go, the first quarter. That is right. So you can take a look at the map here as the footage, the sunset. It's getting those real Miami vibes going on right now. Things are looking good, Bala. Here we go. The first drop again. It is Frenzy Farms. They have to land in that four grid space near Frenzy Farms. There's Risky Reels. There's the Orchard. There's a couple of different Zanker things. Somewhere over here. Like, We're going to start with Booga here and if Juju. Hello, people. We can Looks go like to that. Looks like they're already deciding their strategy. That has three chests. Let's listen. The first tactical. I'm going to try to get like a really good job for the house, though, or the billboard. Ooh, so we knew that Risky was going to be a primary location here for players that were trying my to get high. There's directly like, inside. I'm going here, bro. Man, the pressure oh, already. Just seeing here. the players okay. landing right next to each other. Are you, you hearing call for the billboard? The he wants not? to get up on the height and get that position of strength yeah. so he can look upon Risky and definitely get a lot of loot here. DK Metcalf is in the area as well. Booga might decide to glide by. Symphony might actually get that. Yes, he goes by towards the Grove. This is the other area I was talking about. Two actually, or might be getting three chest spawns and a lot of loot. Ooh. See, on the see legendary chest here. This is going to be an me. ideal situation for Booger right now because he's going to get okay, all three chests loot. and kind of to himself now. Look, he's backing up. Oh, he's just trying to see. play this lay of the, the land. Bush, actually. If you can get to me, I'll give you a gun. This is smart. There's also the mushrooms. He doesn't necessarily have to use these. Already Bankert some Bankfield. eliminations going down in the field. Kurt Bankert, who is the most hyped NFL player going into this, is already down and out. But Aiden is backing him up. Baker Mayfield goes down. Is right. Eden's gonna go in and con kind of confirm that Elam right now, and I love this strategy right here. Booga, you know, so experienced, knows the lay of the land. But we're jumping in with another engagement. Reverse 2K uh -oh. versus Nick A30. David Morgan's already down, and I believe both of their NFL partners are down already. So reverse 2K versus Nick oh, A30. No. Oh, the big shot to start, and Nick A30 is down and out. And this is what we expect. We're forcing the action here as our favorite players are all. Just kind of hugged up on top of one another. And this is actually uh, kind of crazy because this is Nick A's spot. This uh -oh. is his actual competitive spot here. Aiden did pick up Kurt Benkert. And now it's Aiden against reverse 2K. With the help of Kurt Benkert from the side, the flank could come on. Kyler Murray yeah, just took uh, down Booga. Oh my gosh. And remember, guys, this is siphon go, setting as well. So boost the material the and, you know, health back per elimination here. He might be on, yeah, just go all the way around. You know what I'm talking about? Yep, yep. I see him. He's still on the roof. Go, 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 go. And positional. Gonna, you know where it's at, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play yeah, here right. for Kurt Benker to, to watch him. try to get the flank off, try to get the shots from the side. Here's the engagement we were talking about. Kyler Murray actually took out Booga, and Tifu pounced directly on top of him. I'm here. They, Let's go, they got guys, both of them. Let's right. go, man. Hey, some excitement. Damn. It really be like that right now. That's the excitement you want. Booga trying to hide in the bush, you ain't but playing, he bro. wasn't safe. Not safe at all. <laughs> With two eliminations, that's already four points on the board for them. And of Yo, course, I'm a couple sweet. duos did get eliminated, so even some placement points starting to get through here. They're definitely happy about that. We'll check in with the rest of the map, too. Clicks and Tariq. Hey, ooh, oh, great yeah. loadout for Clicks right off the bat. My gosh, it's that like, is our. Bro. Box fight champ, part, one a, of them right here, of right? That's a, yeah, that's a part of Frenzy, because it's all the same color. That's, that's what, like, my Frenzy... Wait, people are going here. Oh, he's trying to figure out oh, where are the players landing, because really now, now he's understanding that, hey, yeah. that's a part of the grid. Yeah. It's, it's more space than they realized. A lot more space. We, we talked about all the different loot opportunities in this area. Here's Tariq. Not as much good loot for him, but, of course, Clicks is going to have a... Huge base of stuff. Ooh, Unknown Army and Avante Maddox are right on their tails, really close, but they're going to go ahead and quickly get into the cornfield. Who's lurking nearby? Tim the Tapman. You know, it's yeah, kind of crazy if you really think about it. These are the most alpha of the players to so go into the yep. named location, ready to take any battle. And no surprise, Unknown Army, Avante Maddox here, hanging out, looking to siege up on someone. Uh-oh. Dr. Lupo. Was talking some smack coming into this, saying, hey, it's not about the placements. Keenan Allen goes down against Brook AB and Eric Ebron. Eric's going to get the confirmation there. Brook now kind of pushing up. No fear on trying to press here on Dr. Lupo. She's going to expose herself a little bit, though. That's going to be a 90 shot right there. Big, big damage. Lupo, no fear of the surrounding competitors, not even blocking up the backside here. But it's still 2v1. This is no easy feat for anyone. Regardless, 
And positionally, Brook A.B. and Eric are down below. You hear the whistle in the background. That is the signal oh, that these leave. players yes. can start to leave the right. area, leave that first grid. Meanwhile, this engagement is still happening. Brook has a oh, possibility of taking out Lupo. He's, he's both of them so low right now. Brook on two HP. I mean, she was excited to leave, but then suddenly went for the fight. And now Lupo has no more shield. All she has to do is find her teammate, back him up. Here's Eric. Eric I think they lost track. Not exactly sure where Lupo went, and he's a sneaky one. He might have decided to completely disengage. Remember, they can leave the area right now, so things are definitely... Oh, he's oh in the house! Gosh. Brooke goes down! All up to Eric now against Dr. Lupo, oh, and, and he, he gets does him. go down. Manages to clutch up for Brooke, and now Eric Ebron keeps them in the game. All that big talk he was putting down before things kicked off, he is backing it up here today. And he gets the pick up onto Brooke, so now they're still a pair. And be fair, honestly, Brooke had one HP anyway, so. Yeah. Ooh, big fight right now. It's Avante Maddox. Unknown Army is down and out. Mike Evans and Nick Merckx. And Mike Evans was yeah. one of the players who was talking the most smack. He was getting up and actually yelling at that team beforehand. I mean, think about it. One of the stories we were setting up for was, yeah, can Big Unknown, can unknown my favorite. You know, represent as one of the best yeah, control players in the world, Nick Merckx. Yes, Daddy Merckx here pulling up <laughs> to the scene. I told you, I told a little you slap on the wrist there. right there. They're going to find him, take him out. You might be on the sticks, but I'm the legend here. I'm going to watch it back. You still got some time to put in here, Unknown. Clearly, but still three more quarters for him to play. Oh, let's go. They're definitely excited about this. and. Given the circumstances in the game now, they can start moving around. They can start having a little bit more space to play with. Tifu definitely pouncing on possibly the opportunity on Brooke and Eric. Ooh. Big shot right there. Great follow up. I Eric Ebron's going to fall to Tifu Good himself. Shit. Shit on him? Good follow up you from Kyle Murray right there. Actually, get the confirmation on oh, his own yeah. 1v1 versus Brooke, and that's it. That team's yeah, yeah, out of here. Game and now Tifu's squad is in first place yeah. based off of their laid out, you know, Elims. Booger. Look like, at how many Elims they have. Might as well send this guy Five Elims. Right that's ridiculous, of course. Some of those even going on some big <laughs> favorites. Booga I don't and doubt Juju. That. that was just game one. Just game five kills, one. Though. Five eliminations. That's 10 points already for this team, plus the placements that yeah. are occurring there. In uh, first place, I think a clear lead. Gonna, oh, let's not oh, forget, dear. guys, this is just the let's first left, quarter actually. of the Streamer Bowl. Yeah, let's go like east. They oh, are right, setting up I see if I can first go game here. Speed. They're I'm setting up the, you know, the, the stakes here to take it off for the charity. This is a great advantage they have now. So many eliminations. Only 32 of these players obviously coming into this hot spot right here. Oh, Los is already out of here with Jamal Adams. They're so far away from where they started. They're definitely taking advantage and hiding. Getting out of dodge, you, essentially. We have thinned the lobby to hey, half. Every, yo, half no. the lobby's dodged, so we're good, bro. Oh, half the lobby dodged. And that's what we want to hear. Hit, just hit, just hit everything you see. Just hit everything, bro. Hit everything. <laughs> hit everything you see. Hey, you know, we expect the pro players, get in that yeah, driver's seat, right? Take, make sure you put this NFL player in the right position to succeed. Getting materials is the name of the Fortnite game. Yeah, playing, it reminds me of the game, good old days. When, when we all first started playing Fortnite, we were just like, yeah, I just want to break everything. I'm surprised we don't see the inside of a house just taking it oh, down. Okay, whoa, whoa. Chill, chill, chill. Uh-oh. Dude, dude's right ahead. You see him? You see him up there? See him up there? Oh. Don't shoot. He was oh, spotted. Way, we're, not, we're not contesting that. <laughs> the strategies no! are coming no! out. No! no! Chap! Already knocks him no! from range. No! 136 no! meters. No! Get it. And just like that, his teammate falls so he's fast. Alone. He's alone. He's, he's in. He's in where I'm at. Hey, hey, someone come to the right. No, no, no. So, the right? What do you mean the right? No, no, no. The other, other, yeah, 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 yeah. Straight, right? The I, other right. I, I the other right. <laughs> I don't think he's coming over here, though. Okay. Let him go. This is definitely it. Trying not to engage. Trying not to get too close to anybody because it's very important. You want to get all the placement points that you can, but don't forget. Every single elimination is a little bit more incentivized than what you're that. used to if you're watching competitive <laughs> Fortnite or Fortnite in general. Meanwhile, Chap is setting up a different strategy here. He has control of this side of the map here. He can storm hold. He can yeah, do a like number of different things. This face right now. And oh, oh no, no, here comes in the big nades. Those are actually perfectly angled there at 81 meters. Set them in. Los Pollos <laughs> off to the races there. I got to get out of here. 
He's hunting. <laughs> I was going to say, you can hear the banter coming in towards Jap from behind because they're in the same He's little running, pocket right, right the there. Chap and, Chap yeah, and Los they're are next directly to each other. next to each other in terms of the location inside this arena. You can hear him going off. Ooh. Oh, what a team to run into when you're trying to run away from one of the most prolific Fortnite players. Chap, you run right back into Nick Merckx. Instantly takes him horrible. out. There it is. Mertz is now going to find right, himself right. another one here, and that's going to be a nice little upgrade for him. And here I'm, comes I'm the zone. I'm getting this harpoon. Nah, there's no shield. I'm getting this harpoon. You got to watch your back, okay? That That's all the way up southeast or some shit. Or east, east, east. So far away, the shots. He's looking at you. He's looking at you. Coming in. Definitely trying it's to chap. ensure. Oh, is it? Chap? Oh, yeah, possibly like definitely could. He threw those grenades, too. So that's a tool you can use to kind of push people away and opt or push them into not going after you. Let me see kind of a deterrent. Yo, if you see any holes to fish, all right? You hear me? Nick Merck's trying to make the best use of the harpoon here while he can here. The river is just on the outskirts of the zone. He's not going to find anything beneficial right now, but hey, at least he finds himself. You got you to get up on me. A little weight to the zone here. So far, this is the pair that I think <laughs> has been playing further than the ex expectations. Nick Merck's definitely wanted Mike the entire draft. He was talking about it before the draft it, even when they were playing together. Nice. Ooh, even more like cohesion like with the that. harpoon. Ooh, just killed, Making sure right on his tail. Oh, those, yeah, yeah. But I wish I would have killed him. Oh. And there it is, Mike. Just expressing that he wants to get in there, get some action going. And they're going to be one of the, probably one of the last to rotate into the zone, as you've seen, kind of just from the other perspectives. Players are already getting there. They're setting up, kind of figuring out what they want to do now. Mm -hmm. This is where things are going to shift gears a little bit. We're going to yeah. go into more old-fashioned Fortnite, right? Yeah. Normal, normal kind of movement and rotations you can see perfect players to tune in with right here a little slower stage of the game now as people start to hunt and find all the different players who are kind of stuck right now Tifu taking some shots of his own there is the third zone revealed right on top of retail so good position from them i gotta say they are fearless right now Several eliminations here on Tyler. Oh, the toes! Oh, great shot. It's going to find a little hole yeah. down there in the pixel that was exposed. Yeah. And now what Tyler, he's going to want to slide up here. Hey, I want to see another one of those. That's ridiculous. Tyler showing off. Oh, got but no. It's right back. Right, I got to back up. basically loses the HP that Kyler gained on it this advantage here. Or, something. or it, honestly, it might be Nick Murray. Oh, he's trying to call out, trying to figure out exactly who it is so he can maybe decide, is this worth engaging? It's actually Symphony and DK Metcalf. He thought they were controller gamers for a second there with how fast he got hit with the dual shots coming in from Symphony here. Hey, do you have an RPG? Uh, I do not, I do not. I have four rockets for you, though. Look at that loadout. It's ridiculous. Oh, wait, there's people up there. The amount of heals. Um, this is best. perfect for this scenario now. where, back in. you know, it's... Not a uh, heavily chaotic so endgame where right there's a lot of different outposts that players are starting to base up on and kind of take control of, you know. The heals are going to be able to make it so that you can move in these later zones and, and then heal right back up, kind of spend like, that economy. Like way too much to be a pro Not player. to mention, it's there's like going to be a lot of just extra loot kind of, you know, sparsely scattered everywhere, right? Everything's going to be all over the place because of the fact that, hey, we force him to kind of play this area and wherever the zone takes him, they take him. That's not predetermined predetermined here in these settings right now. First UK nearby, Symphony and Metcalf make it to a house here. Yeah. Try and recycle their resources and get situated. <laughs> He's right across the way from where Chap just based up off ah. on the top of that house. Um, you saw yeah, Chap. Chill up top for now. I'm gonna go farm he was, a little bit he below. He built a huge base on top of that building. That's what Fortnite's all about. And that's basically signaling to the rest of the lobby, hey, I'm not just a solo. I'm not by myself here. I have plenty of stuff. You don't want to push this because I got all the firepower in the world. It's true. A lot of the time it is just a big old mind game with Fortnite. Right, once I'm max, I'm going to come up and just warm up my hands. We'll be good. There you go. Symphony just saying, you know, let's get a little warmed up here. It's still the first game. Some people are going to be feeling things out. This is giving me uh, the flashbacks from that very, very first Pro-Am. This is the style of gameplay that's going, unfolding in front of us right now. This has been a long time we've, since, since we've seen this. It's definitely what we expected nonetheless. So take a look at Reverse here. Big chilling. Peeking out. Oh, yeah. Checking out the real estate. Soon. 14 left. 
Things are only going to get tighter and tighter here as in 10 look seconds, look the next zone will reveal itself. <laughs> Give an indicator to where these players have to move. Whoever has the strongest position, should it be a professional player, they're going to do some storm holding. Uh-oh. And it is going to move over retail, so reverse now has to move a little bit. <laughs> Lupo <laughs> in the background. <laughs> hey, you got to jump in there. Some more of that air time right there. <laughs> got to show the face. Oh, this is a tough one for reverse because he's in between Symphony and Metcalf and then Chap as well. They're actually going to move, though. So good opportunity there for reverse in the background to move as well. Nick Merckx and Mike Evans are coming in on the outskirts. Looks like they had a little bit of a scuffle on the bridge. This is what you were talking about, getting held. This is the, the players that are inside of the zone already kind of basing up and just shooting back so that you can't get in. But they're actually also trying to secure this airdrop. What's happening here? They don't want to get it for free, though. They're not making this one easy here. The focus point is on Nick Merckx right now, which is good. Mike Evans can just kind of look for this sniper shot, see if he can find it. I have to say, I'm impressed by Mike Evans right now. I'm not, I don't even, I did not even hear the direction star. from Nick. He just uh, knew exactly instinctively what to do. He built out way in front of him you so that they had no, you, you no opportunity to continue to pressure all the way to where Nick was trying to grab that supply yeah. drop. With all that, the resources is dwindling here on this duo right here. It's Tim the Tatman who's up in the high ground right now, really running things from his aerial view. You can see that off in the distance here on the mountain. Tifu playing for oh. some prime location with Kyler. And they're off to an engagement with Klix and Tariq Cohen here. Now Klix. It's a scary oh. player. Ooh, Snipe's going to come in a little closer right there. Remember, he's got the big no boy way. shotgun Good. as well, so he's Watch not going to be afraid of any box Watch fights you. Watch out. Watch out. that are going to be coming up real soon here. He also doesn't want to lose that. He doesn't want to lose the opportunity that is given to him with the loadout that he has. Huge one. And it's funny, right against Tifu and Kyler Murray and a huge spot here in the zone. This is fourth. It is going to start moving into those moving zones that you normally see in competitive. From these guys. If this wow. half in, half out, which is the zone that goes half outside of the zone and half inside of the zone, no, comes nobody. to this north side, there's which people, yeah, there's has people a high below chance of doing. Right down there. This is a there's scary the combination of players to have up on the hill. And they're sitting on some very, very good loot here as well. None the least, everyone seems to be situated based off of the elims and the space they had. Good sportsmanship there on the dab. Let's go. Pick up, pick up the done. emotes for watching today. Remember, all these streamers are live streaming as well, right? We have perspectives everywhere. But should you want to see maybe, you know, a personal reaction or so, you can tune in with someone. <laughs> and the situation I was calling out did just happen. That's exactly why you see Clicks and Tifu kind of starting to battle for height right now because this is going to decide a lot Ooh. in the game. Oh, a snipe coming in for Clicks. On to Kyler Murray, so Tifu's without a teammate, and then guess what? Aiden is on the back side of this with Kurt Benkert. We should stop, we should stop, we should stop. Trust, it's not worth it. You don't want to be pushing in and getting stuck between yeah, Clicks and Aiden. Let him, let him be. It's not worth, like, I don't know. They have a ton of builds down there. We're not in yet. We need to... Oh. Little does he know. Kyler Murray is now fallen here officially. And the zone is going to favor upwards towards them as well right here. The rest of the lobby is so lucky right now that they are all kind of focused on each other because if these guys, there's three big names up here, Tifu, Clicks, and Aiden, look down over towards Retail Row. I don't think a single person would survive trying to make that rotate up. Definitely not here, but take a look at the side shot. This is the view of what's going on. Good. You guys can get a better understanding from the it. outside looking in. Aiden is really situated up right now. And they're just on the edge of the zone here in the half in, half out. Zone's going to be cutting up across here. So now Retail Row is no longer safe. Everyone has to move yeah, on out just and up. head back up to the zone yeah, here. So if you remember Chat, Symphony, DK Metcalf and all of them, they did have to move up towards the bottom of the hill. That's why they're all based up on the bottom. Nick Merckx did make his way up with Mike Evans. Chap still up in the game by himself. Mike Evans does get tagged a little bit up from the high ground. Who did actually remain on high ground? It was Clicks and Tariq Cohen. Huge advantage going into the moving zones. Good, good, good. All right. But I do Follow remember Tim no, no, Tatman had we RPG. We stay here, so we stay here we'll and see. wait for all of them to rotate. Yes. This is the call. This is exactly what you were talking about. So many opportunities here for Clicks and Tariq Cohen because it continues up. If you look we're at the top right high, of the okay? screen, it continues north, away from retail, away from the base of the hill that we pointed out earlier. 
Now the shots are coming in. Might be at the base of this mountain. Remember, Tifa is just recycling all those materials as well that he had before. Tim the Tapman is going to find Mike Evans, though. So it's going to be a rifle shot right there. And then Nick Merckx responds right there, takes out Tim. It's the end of that, I believe. Chap is still making the rotation. Reverse coming up right behind him. It's true. He left Mike in the dust there. So now it's. Good old-fashioned competitive players on this other side of the map here. Reverse chat, Nick Merckx all on top of one another. And that's the engagement happening right there as they're pouncing on this rotation. You have to cut across here. No. But it does go very, very far down the hill onto low ground, which is why immediately chat decides to pounce because that high ground that Clicks had up above, it's easily knocked down if he looks back. Oh, the RPG coming in. Definitely a scary moment for chat. And then many players coming in from the sides. That was his wall right there. Great find on Metcalf. He let his guard down. He's going to fall to Chap. You can see the, the reaction from Kyle Van far. Noy. He's still cheering his teammate on the trap, but that's not going to be enough. Nick Merckx yeah. takes him out. Oh, he also goes down because he got hit man. by the same trap. Chap had him on. Clicks and Tariq still up on high ground. Tifu in zone. He has a couple of fish to work with. Symphony oh, against Aiden down oh, on low ground, too. He took out Kurt Ben Kurt. Stay high, stay high. I'm good, I'm good. I know no, just laser them. Just get me, get me. You good? Check your map. Great hold right shoot here. Them, looking for the shoot compact shooting. shots right there. Someone Someone's get... trying to build up though. And it's Tifu finds himself in the high oh. here with the RPG. Oh, they Little don't do they know. They don't Big know. shot comes in and the follow up right no there. Way. Down goes a player. And now Tifu's got every no advantage way, in his pocket right now. Against all odds, ball. He's turning it around. 1v1. Here it is. Tifu up on height. Oh, he took shoot. it from Clicks and Tariq Cohen. Oh, Unbelievable that he did that. Pulled it out. I was surprised myself. It's now Tifu against Symphony in the last one, last battle of this game. Number one of the streamer bowl. Here we go. It's coming down to it. Symphony just trying to P90 him from the low ground, trying to knock him out. Got to be careful of any elevation changes. RPG still coming up and materials running low for Symphony. He could still do this if he gets the shots that he needs. That is true. He has no heals right here, but great follow up with the RPG. And now it's time to put it all on the table here. The big 50-50 from Tifu. Let's see what's gonna happen right now. As he's deciding whether or not he wants to do it, there goes the classic shot. Can he do this, Bala? A good old fashioned 1v1 right now. The fake out with the wall. Playing the block line of sight, and he does.